Hey everybody, Aaron Blaze here. We are back. I've been gone a long time. I'm back in the saddle with my trusty Dusty Dustin Dustin over here. Hey everybody. <laughs> Good to see you again. I was gone. This is the longest trip I've ever taken as far as being away from home for a business. A month. I was gone for 30 days. 30 days. Yes, it was great. We, uh, we just, I just got back day before yesterday and uh, we flew in from Spain. But we went out. Uh, we started in Manchester, where we went on to Leeds, England, and I taught a class there. And then we came back, spent some time back in Manchester um, with some friends, and then down to London, where I met up with my friend Bobby Chu, and uh, some Schoolism Live that he was doing down there, and I gave a class with him. And then we went to Dublin, in uh, Ireland, and I taught a class there, then down to Kilkenny, back to Dublin... Then we went to Viborg, Denmark, and we taught some classes there, and then on to Seville, Spain, which was awesome, and we taught uh, three days there. So, but we were in Seville for I think eight days. So it was a lot of travel, a lot of new faces, a lot of. It was just great. It was really everywhere. really cool. What's that? You went everywhere. We went everywhere. <laughs> we did, but. As always, it is so good to be home. And so uh, we've been relaxing a little bit, but we thought, you know, it's Thursday and we haven't done a stream in such a long time. So I'm just going to draw today. I'm just, I'm just, I've been teaching so much and kind of really structured. Um, I've got some uh, reference of, uh, of a cougar. Yes, I'm just going to relax and draw big cats. That's what I'm doing today. And, um, and uh, I just want to draw. And so I figured um, while I draw uh, digitally, excuse me, you guys can ask questions. Unfortunately, we don't have Nick today uh, in Sarasota. He is off doing some other stuff because he was away for a month as well. So he's got to do some stuff to catch up. So the only questions that we are going to be able to answer today is off of Facebook. So if you're watching us on one of the other platforms, YouTube or Twitter or whatever, um, we're not able to answer those questions. We don't have them coming up on our end. The only one we have is Facebook. So if you want to ask questions, jump over to Facebook and ask the questions there because that's what Dustin is following, who we've got back now. <laughs> and, um, and oh, and by the way, Dustin, you're you kind of a big you're kind of a big deal over in Europe. There, everybody knows you. Oh, really? Yeah, and they all told me to say hi, and they were really disappointed oh. you weren't there. Yeah, it was pretty cool. I wish I was there. <laughs> it was awesome, but um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and dive in. I've just opened up this uh, document. I'm drawing on my Cintiq today. If you want to show the audience what I'm drawing on today, today I'm drawing digitally, and this is my Wacom Cintiq 32 Pro. And uh, it's awesome. I love this thing. And you can see it's just a huge, huge space. And, it's huge. Uh, it's, it's huge. That's, and I like, I like to draw from the shoulder really big. And um, I don't know if you can see up, up top. I've got the other. Are they able to see that? Uh, just the oh, feet of it. Just the feet. I'll show you. This is my reference today. I'm, I, I like this photo. And uh, this is a photo I shot um, over the winter in Montana of uh, uh, a friend's cougar. And matter of fact, we're leaving again next week. <laughs> <laughs> we're leaving again next week. Dustin and I, we're heading off to Montana to photograph more cougars, bears, wolves, uh, all kinds of stuff. And so... Um, I'm so excited. Yeah. And then right after that, I have to leave again. Uh, maybe, uh, there's an animation festival in Moscow. And so we're heading off to Moscow. I'm only going to be gone for four days or five days or something like that. But you're still uh, traveling all over again. Like, yeah. When can you get a break? I know, but um, <laughs> but then we'll be back and and uh, um, and then we'll be back on schedule. But this is this is kind of my inspiration today. Um, I've got an idea for some stuff here I want to draw, and I really like this image. I like the action, and uh, so yeah, so that's what I'm gonna use as my inspiration, and I'm just gonna keep that right there, right above my Cintiq. We've got a first uh, question real quick. Right on. Um, when will the new course, Cartooning Animals, uh, in parentheses, I think, be coming out? That is coming out very soon. We had to put it on the back burner for the last month uh, because we've been away. 
But uh, my friend Tim Hodge uh, has done that, and it's awesome. It's coming out really good. And um, we just got a uh, Nick. Nick is editing that one, and uh, he's just got to catch up on a few things now that we're home. And because uh, we both, like I said, we both have been gone for a month. And uh, so he's just got to catch up on a few things, and he's back on it. So here, I'm trying very hard just to stay loose. I want to I want to get this nice flow through the body, and then just build. One of the things I was talking about animal drawing quite a bit while I was gone, and one of the things I I always harp on is you know especially in this pose you can you're going to be able to see it a lot, is breaking the body up into parts, and just by changing the proportions of those parts you can get different animals. And so in this case, let's think, just think of the head, which is right here. We got a head right here and um, the neck, and then shoulders and the arm. Okay. And then the body, which is very flexible. And then you got the pelvis and back legs and then the tail. So it's a six parts. And by changing those parts, you can get different animals by changing. Uh, that's the way I think about it. But what's really cool, even more cool about it, is you can take those parts and change them to just create creatures. And um, that gets really fun. Might you consider a course on drawing birds? Yes. Matter of fact, I'm going to be doing a course that might, I think it's going to be our next course, actually, on birds of prey. So, yes, yes, yes. I thought the uh, next one was uh, oil. Painting. No, that uh, I, I was thinking about that, but no, the next one's going to be on uh, drawing uh, uh, birds of prey. Awesome. Yes. So here you can see I've got this kind of flow going through the body. Very simple form. I want to get this other. I want to show the other leg in here, right about here. Uh, any chance to have French subtitles for the courses? Yes, we're going to be working on um, extra uh, subtitles coming up. Um, I think we're going to be doing... I know we're going to be doing French. I'm not sure when. I think we're going to be doing German as well. Ooh. Yeah. So, so, yeah. So, here, I want to... Get his size just right. I just finished your anatomy drawing course. Is there a way to get critique on our work? It doesn't feel like a class without that feedback. Well, they're not meant to be classes. They're just meant to be informational videos. Okay, um, simple lesson. Yeah, lesson it's not meant to be a class. But, um, but according to, to answer your question, we are working on a way to do that. Right now, we don't have the ability just because we have too many. We have too many requests. For it, and I don't have the time um, in the day to uh, to answer everyone's do everyone's critiques. Um, I just can't do it. So that's why those are always just meant to be informational videos that you download and you know learn off of it, and then um, and then yeah. So, but we are gonna we have had that request a lot, and um, so we are working on that. One thing we're definitely talking about doing um, is more master classes with uh, exclusive master classes. So one thing we're talking about doing a lot more domestic here in the United States uh, and then specifically here in Orlando. Um, we're talking about possibly towards the end of the year, if, uh, if gauging on the interest, um, we want to uh, do a master class open to about 100 people. And, um, and, you know, get you folks down here to Orlando and I can teach in person. And um, I think it can be a lot of fun. Uh, will you ever come to Paris? I just love your art and, and it will be a pleasure to meet you in, in uh, real life. Paris would be awesome. It's one of our favorite places. Dustin and I have some very fond memories of Paris as a family. We've gone there a couple times. I'm... I would love to go there. I, I miss it. Yeah. Remember the catacombs? Oh, my God. The catacombs <laughs> were awesome. I, I was the one that chose that. We, we yeah. had a trip. Each, for each day, uh, each of us 
had a choice of where we all wanted to go, and and my my choice for my day was the catacombs, and so that's why we went. Yeah, it was so cool. The catacombs, for people that don't know, is um, you know during the Roman era they they basically dug all these tunnels and then they started putting putting the dead down there you know when their graves when the, uh, the graveyards filled up and they did it for hundreds of years and um and so uh there's you just walk for miles under the city and it's just ceiling to or floor to ceiling <clears throat> excuse me stacks of of you know human remains bones and uh it's really it's pretty amazing. And even within the pile of bones, they would create patterns. Yeah, they'd create, create they'd create designs. The yeah, yeah, they'd create designs with the bones. Pretty wild. It's like as though you've stepped into the underworld. The underworld, yes. The underworld. And notice too, you know, a cat, a, a, a cougar, is um, is the largest of the small cats, from what I understand, uh, if I if I remember that right. So it's it's more uh, like the bobcats and things like that. It's not considered a big cat like a jaguar or a, a leopard or a tiger or a lion. It's it's the largest of the small cats, from what I understand. Well, and so, you said, notice too about the cat while we just talked about catacombs. Oh, <laughs> notice too, like, um, Dad, I don't think the cat goes to the catacombs. No, no, it doesn't. <laughs> So one of the things I want to make sure that I get right is um, the the fur textures. Fur texture is very uh, specific on there. Are there any plans to go to the Netherlands anytime in the future? Uh, yeah, actually, I think we will do that. Um, I, I came very close. I was in Denmark. Um, so close. Yeah, so close, but yet so far. So far. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, there's a lot of places we want to go, and you know we want to get to Italy, um, we want to get to uh, Netherlands. Um, we just had a request to go to Madagascar, <laughs> but we also have to. <laughs> I've got to cut back on my travel just a little bit because we've been we've been doing a lot of it, but I've got to get Snow Bear done. That's our big that's our big goal, and um, I've got to get that done this year, and um, so that's going to be our drive. For, uh, for a while, getting Snow Bear done. And it's coming along very nicely, I might add. Very nice. Yeah. Because you know there's going to be at least one person asking, well, how's Snow Bear? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I'm liking how this is coming out right now. And um, let's get that other foot in there real quick, just so we can see it. Come to Toronto, Canada. Tirana. 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 Dustin used to live in Tirana. Yeah, I lived there for two years. Yeah. <laughs> and let me tell you, it's cold. It's a, <laughs> it's a frozen, hostile wasteland. It's a frozen, hostile wasteland area. And I had to build an igloo to protect <laughs> myself from polar bears <laughs> and flying hockey pucks. <laughs> Uh, but that would, that would be really fun to visit that place again. Uh, will you be doing any more animation courses? Yes. Yes, I will. Um, just not yet. Because yeah, so far we've got fundamentals of animation, acting for animation. Yep. And then the animation approach. Animation approach. Yeah. What would the next one be after that? I'm not sure. There's a couple things I'm thinking of. I'm definitely going to be doing a whole series on locomotion. Ooh. So that's, yeah, that's going to be a big one. Yeah. Locomotion of, like, samples of, like, bugs. Yeah. Like, yep. Whole, all kinds of, all kinds of stuff. So very quickly, just roughed in. Uh, Romy Tempest says, uh, please tell your dad, thank you for drawing me a wolf, saying put your card away in London. It was oh, awesome yeah. <laughs> I remember doing that. I am glad to see you or hear you. 
<laughs> that was fun. Put your card away. <laughs> that was Dustin's voice. Put your card away. All right, so I've got a, a very, very, very rough sketch here. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, London was awesome. We're right near uh, Tower Bridge. Ooh. And uh, so I went out and did some sketching there. Drank a lot of Guinness. Oh, the Guinness. Oh, yeah, it's the Guinness. You got to have at least a little bit of Guinness while you're over there. Oh, I had a lot of Guinness in Ireland, that's for <laughs> sure. It, it felt appropriate. It tasted different, too. It tasted fresher. Really? A little better, yeah. I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> If you were an animator uh, for the animated Jungle Book, uh, which character would you animate? Oh, man. I would have loved to have done uh, uh, Bagheera. Bagheera is the... the... The leopard. Oh, the leopard? The Black Panther, oh, yeah. The Black Panther, yeah. He's a leopard, but he's just a black phase of a leopard. Gotcha. Okay, so there's our, there's our cat. Oops. I want to have him up a little higher. Maybe running uphill just slightly. Brother Bear, can't wait to see you in the ecosystem of Yellowstone National Park. Yeah, Manny, Manny, Manny! Manny! Hey, Manny, um, I haven't called you yet to tell you, but I'm bringing Dustin. So, Dustin's coming with me next week. Up we finally get to meet. Yes. <laughs> Um, he's going to be my little photographer whilst I sketch and videotape. So that's Dustin's responsibility. Responsibility, I'm so excited. Yeah. Do you ever sell any uh, reference photos? I do not sell reference photos, no. Um, but I do include them in my animal drawing packs. So... Technically, you do kind of sell, yeah, I mean, but not in not all of way, them. Not, not, not yeah. A direct sell, right? So I'm going to keep this drawing nice and loose, and um, I want to maybe move it up a little, even a little higher. Oh, there's the snow bear question. <laughs> Very excited for snow bear. When's it going to be done? When do you expect it? It will come out, and where can? Where will I be able to buy it? Or is it a little too early to ask these questions? <laughs> um, it's not too early. It's just I keep I keep cursing myself by giving an answer, and then I I don't make the deadline. We're hoping to have it done this year. Matter of fact, I've got a big meeting scheduled Saturday um, with Lyndon Ruddy, our our buddy who is uh, who who's created our uh, the storyboarding course. He's actually storyboarding the uh, the short for us. Because I just haven't had time to board it. And so we are having a meeting to go over some of the boards. Uh, it's almost all boarded now. I've got a big chunk of it. So I'm ready to start animating. I just had to get home. I had to get home from overseas before I could start. And then, uh, and so now that I'm back, that's, that's the goal. So we're hoping this year. Um, and keep in mind, too, what um, we're documenting the entire process of making it um, and then we're going to turn that into a course on how to create your own animated short. Uh, what are you using now to make these drawings? Uh, this right here. This is my Wacom Cintiq 32. I'm drawing digitally. Can you go to the overhead yep, again? Or the, the, uh, cool. So this, this is my, uh, it's big. It's a big pen display tablet. It's a Wacom Cintiq 32 Pro. Um, and I like drawing big. I just naturally like drawing big. I do a lot of traditional art, and that's why I like it. So um, uh, it's the right tool for me. Um, it's not cheap. No, they're not cheap. But they are, you know, if you create as much art as I do or uh, other professionals, it's worth trying to, you know, put the money into that. Uh, for me, anyway, it's my theory. Um, you know, put, put, buy the right tools, basically, is what I say. And, um, and this is something I use every day. So this is a great tool, uh, Wacom Cintiq Pro 32. I just spent the last month uh, working I, my portable 16-inch uh, uh, Cintiq, 
worked great. We brought it to every venue, and that's what I used, and uh, it was fantastic. But coming back home now, this is uh, you know this is what I'm on now. I wish Dustin made vlogs so we could see uh, these little adventures. <laughs> I don't know if my uh, adventures are all that exciting. <laughs> well, the adventures for the stuff that we do. Oh yeah, for, like going so when like we're, the um, based on the productions and yeah, going from town to town. Yeah, that would be fun. Just yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So I'm just gonna. So I don't even know if I want to. What do you think of the uh, new uh, Lion King trailer? I love it. I'm I'm really excited to see it. Um, we had this conversation a lot uh, while I was um, in Europe, and uh, there's a there's a really mixed bag of people as far as whether or not they want to see Lion King redone. I personally am really excited to see it. I was asking how how tall you and I are because the walk-in looks really big. <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh yeah I'm uh I'm 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 six nine. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, you're more like four foot five. <laughs> no, I am definitely under five or six foot. I'm not <laughs> under five. Yeah, I'm under five feet. Yeah, I think I'm around six foot. Yeah. You're taller than me. Yeah, I think I'm like six foot five, five foot eleven, somewhere around there. You know, tall. <laughs> uh, did you hear anything about the uh, uh, the Notre Dame on fire? Yeah, we yeah we saw that uh, when it was while it was happening. We saw that uh, we saw the live uh, feed on Facebook, or at least I did. Yeah. Yeah, where was I? I was always oh, in London when that was happening. Yeah, that was uh, that was really hard to watch. Yeah, we had some good memories up there, didn't we? Yeah. Up in the bell. Well, the, the bell tower survived, though. Yeah, uh, yeah. Thankfully, the bell towers themselves survived, but the the spires and everything in the back. Um, yeah. Uh, didn't quite make it, and uh, but thankfully, uh, the dam the it didn't get as bad as it could have been. Yeah. But still, it was, it was hard to watch because what some of my favorite memories when Mom w was there, because I remember her and I um, snuck away from the group, from our group, and uh, we went up the stairways and saw the, the big bells and uh, went out of the balconies and saw the gargoyles right there. Yeah. We just had a fun mother, mother and son time. Yeah. And, uh, Those are good memories with your mom. And yeah, so when I saw when I saw that happening, I just started having those flashbacks, and I started like, "Oh no!" Yeah, I know. <laughs> but, but hopefully, all that gets gets fixed soon. So here, I'm just adding some values. Value uh, meaning light and dark. Just very quickly. If Aaron was one of the dwarves, who would he be? I'd be grumpy. No, I'd be happy. Joke, I was actually going to joke that. <laughs> no, yeah, I, I'd say happy. Is it? Uh, I'd be drunky. Drunky. <laughs> well, technically, you're happy when you're drunk, so so drunky is happy. <laughs> so you're happy. <laughs> I would be dopey. Yeah. No. You wouldn't be dopey. <laughs> Uh, what kind of brushes are uh, do you use? Uh, the brush I'm using right now, these are all uh, custom brushes. They're all home homemade. I make them. Matter of fact, the brush I'm using, not this one, but this one, this is my sketching brush. I use this for everything, including the uh, uh, painting. And um, you can get this brush for free. Free. For free? For free. If oh. you go to my website, creatureartteacher.com, if you go to creatureartteacher.com, you can get this brush for free if you sign up for our newsletter. I don't have that plug-in set up. <laughs> creatureartteacher.com Creatureartteacher.com Yeah. yeah. 
All right, time to put some uh, color in here. Put some color. Color. Would you be interested in doing a video to show us how you use Procreate on iPad Pro? Yes. You know, it's funny as I, I haven't been using it hardly at all lately. And so I, um, I need to get on that. I haven't been using my iPad. I don't even know the last time I touched my iPad. Maybe it was a year ago. Maybe yeah, eight I've, months ago. Yeah, I haven't really uh, used the um, the Cinti Pro all that much, or at least the 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 first first one ever that you gave me. Yeah. Um, but I'm going to start using it more often now with uh, with the camera while I'm on the while I'm traveling. Yeah. But uh, the other one that you gave me, that one's having issues. I want to talk talk to you about after after this, but. Um, did you get the chance to see Tim Burton's live-action Dumbo? I did, and I liked the second half more than the first half. There's parts of it that I really loved. There's parts that I, um, I thought the you know the original was better. Um, I felt that they missed the boat a little bit emotionally on Baby Mine, where I mean that's one of the biggest emotional punches in the gut in the original movie. And I felt like the emotion was kind of glossed over a little bit in the live action version. But I really loved, um, once we get to the big top with Michael Keaton's character, I really loved everything in there. Um, I just thought it was great. Does Aaron like Miyazaki films? I do what like Miyazaki, it? yes. What are your thoughts on those? Um, I think it's, it's definitely a different style of storytelling it's a it's a different sensibility but i love it and uh, i've met miyazaki we went to studio ghibli when we were opening brother bear in asia and um he's a cool dude we had a good time i would and, love to meet him yeah yeah I, I i love those movies so much especially um i think my top favorite is princess mononoke mononoke and right Right behind that, or tied for first, would be Castle in the Sky. Yeah. I like my friend Totoro. That's a fun one. I like that one, too. Just all of them are great. That's great. It's great. <laughs> it is great. Who do you think will end up on the throne in the final episode of Game of Thrones? <laughs> Well, we first of all, the there's no spoilers. I did not watch Game of Thrones at all the whole time I was gone. Dustin's never watched any of it, ever, not a single episode. No, I've watched like two or three episodes, but I oh. just couldn't catch on to it. it just Yeah, it just, just wasn't your wasn't your bag, baby. Yeah, um, too but slow. We are, I'm halfway through the fourth episode, which I think will make me caught up once we get done with the fourth episode. Um, but, uh, yeah, no spoilers, because I don't know, I don't know where it's going. I think, well, I, I, I can't spoil it. I don't want to spoil it either. I do have a theory as far as who's going to end up on the throne. Were you able to see How to Train Your Dragon 3, uh, The Hidden World yet? If so, how did you like that? I loved it. And I loved the ending. Yeah. The ending was Perfect. I am, I'm a huge fan of Dean Dubois and everything he does. Uh, he's the director. Um, I think I've told you before, we, we worked at Disney together. Um, he was um, one of the main story uh, gurus on, um, on Mulan. And he also comes from a, a layout background, so he's got a really great sense of staging. And, uh, but what's amazing with, uh, with Dean is his story abilities and his knack for story structure and um he's just amazing and we uh matter of fact when we would write us when we were writing our scripts for whatever film we were working on um we would often send it to dean to read and give us notes because you know we just liked his sensibilities that much he's just great so right now, all I'm doing right now is laying in local color on the cat. 
I'm just going to keep this really loose today. Loose as a goose. Ida Simonson says, Hi Justin, did Aaron remember to say hi from an awkward, nervous blonde girl from Denmark? Because I told him to, even though I was close to death from excitement. Please say hi to Aaron uh, from me. Yes. I, well, I said hi. I said, I told Dustin that everybody uh, had said hi to him. A lot of people had said hi to him. And so, uh, not specifically, but now you just did. So that's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I want to have a lot of motion blur in this as well. Uh, will we be going to NSC Film Festival this year? Uh, probably not. We eventually do want to get there, but probably nice. <laughs> <laughs> I love your sneezes, man. So you were saying the Annecy uh, Film Festival. Is, is that how you pronounce it? Yeah, Annecy. Yeah. <laughs> 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 sounds, like, sounds like a bomb going off way out in the distance. It does. <laughs> Running through the snow. Yellowstone National Park. Yeah. Can't wait, man. Teton National Park. It's, it's grand. grand. So we're going to... Mon so, we're, so we're traveling to Montana next week. Yes. But Good we're old going Montana. to Yellowstone. Yeah. Which is well, we're, well, well, in Bozeman, there's a um, a friend of ours that uh, has the different animals that we're going to go photograph. And then after we're done with that, then we're heading down into Yellowstone National Park in the north entrance, which is in Montana. Oh, I didn't know Yellowstone was in both. Yeah, it's Montana. in Montana and Wyoming. Oh. Yeah. Learn something new every day. I, I never knew that. Yeah. The more you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Dustin is sneezy. <laughs> yeah. I yes. guess you could say that when when I sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> He's explosive. <laughs> His explosive sneezes crack me up. Any chance to do a? Copic marker demonstration? Copic talk, uh, Well, C -C funny. Yeah, Copic marker. Copic, yeah. Funny you say that. We have a line on a woman who teaches Copic markers. Um, and I can't remember her name. I met her. You know, I asked her to do a course for us. I feel like an idiot right now because I'm caught with my pants down. Um, but uh, she is going to be doing a course for us on Copic markers. Um and so yes 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 and uh yeah yeah and peter on peter arizona hey peter hey peter hey peter i really want a meter <laughs> uh arizona arizona um maybe um we don't have anything planned in arizona uh, right now but, um, yes, we will do something in Arizona at some point, I'm assuming. Uh, what do you do in order to keep your wrist in working order? I'm asking because it's a real concern for 99% of TAW. You know what? I get that question all the time, and I do not have any problems with my wrist. Um, I, draw, I draw like this. I draw from... Uh, if you could switch cameras. Oh, yeah. Uh, um, there. Yeah. So if you see the way I draw, I'm always drawing from here. Even if I'm drawing small, I'm drawing like this. I don't do this. And so I don't have any wrist problems. I've never had. I'm 51 years old and I draw almost every day and I don't have any problems. You mainly do the movement through your shoulder and through your elbow yeah. depending on where where you're drawing from, right? Yeah. 
So now I'm going to knock that the drawing layer back just so you can see where I'm at here. And you can see it's a basic, got a basic um, layout. Now I want to start getting some shadow in there. I'm going to put a layer on top, set it to multiply. And uh, I'm like I said, I'm keeping all of this very rough. You have to draw the real Pink Panther. <laughs> <laughs> I think all I really need to do with that is just draw a panther, but instead of drawing his natural colors, just make it pink. Yeah. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to try something different today. I'm going to try a different brush. This is just, this is um, the standard, this is a standard brush uh, that comes with Photoshop. This is the soft edge. So I've got, I've got the, um, I've got a new layer on top set to multiply and I've got I grabbed a cool uh, a cool blue gray and that's what I'm going to put uh, make my shadows with person that asked the uh, um, question about the, the wrist thing, uh, TAW stands for uh, the Animation Workshop in Viborg. Oh. Viborg. 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 Yep, that's where we were in, in Denmark. Nice. Nice. That's where you uh, had that scotch? That's where I had some beautiful scotch with my good friend Klaus Toxvig. And you're never a scotch person. No, I've never been a scotch guy. And he introduced me to some scotch that was just absolutely incredible. It was beautiful. So here I want to find the, the, the shadow pattern of the cat here. I want to find the muscles. Um, here we're up this this is all trapezius muscle and getting into deltoids and stuff and then here is this and here are tricep muscles and I'm not putting any fur textures in there yet I have maybe a silly question but how There's no did, silly questions how did they animate dialogue in old days without the timeline uh, with the voice well, the di dialogue, um, and well, the old days, we 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 still did it the, the the way they did it back in the '40s when I started. And so, what an editor would come along, and we'd have what's called an exposure sheet. Another name for it is called a dope sheet. Um, but uh, the editor would listen to the dialogue that came through on the film. You know, on the on the edge of the film, you can see the dialogue, the the wave the waveform. And, uh, and so they would listen to that and they could discern, um, you know, where each letter fell from what the, the actors are saying. And then they would write that on the, on the dope sheet. Every, the, the, the exposure sheet is broken up into every frame. So there's columns and each column represents a frame. And so they were able to go in and write the dialogue according to what frame it fell on. And so that's how we were able to get lip sync. It's a very cool process. Uh, what's the reference for this uh, drawing? Uh, it's a photograph, um, several photographs actually, I can pull it up, that I, um, several photographs that I photographed. There's this guy. But you can see, I've got a whole bunch of them that I've... These are all um, photographs of the cougar that I uh, uh, up in Montana. This is the same guy you are going to be photographing when we're there, Dustin. Sweet. Yes. His name is Smokey. Smokey. And uh, he is a beautiful cat. Just absolutely beautiful. And um, so we are going to be photographing him there. So... Yeah, so there's that. 
How far away would you say that we would be standing from him? Well, you got to stand behind an enclosure because uh, uh, you know you, you don't want to get too close, and there's legal reasons. You know, you can't you can't be too close to the to the cat, but um, we'll be close enough to get some good shots. Like how far away were you from the from those shots? Oh, 30 feet. Yeah. Have you read the book Framed Ink by Marcus Matteu? M A T E U. No. What is it? Framed Ink. Framed Ink. No, I have not. Doug Brown wrote, hey, back online. Hey, Aaron, did huh. you not rest? <laughs> hey, I got a business to run, man. <laughs> I got work to do. <laughs> no, I love to draw, too. So I figured, hey, I'm going to draw. I was going to draw anyway. And uh, so I figured, why not include some people? Whereabouts in Europe are you, go are you going? Or where? I was going to say where. Well, she, uh, she wrote, oh, where are you going? But I think uh, that's in the past now. Yeah. Um, I, we went to England, several places in England. Uh, then we went uh, to Ireland, Dublin and Kilkenny. And then from there, we went to uh, Denmark uh, at, to the animation workshop and met some great folks there. And then uh, from Denmark, we went down to Seville, Spain, which I'd never been to Spain before. And uh, i got to tell you, I really liked it. Spain is fun. Are there any thoughts on live-action Sonic? Uh, no, I don't have an opinion on it. I was never a fan of the game. I, never, I mean, I, it's not that I don't like it. I just don't have an opinion. I'm not a... I'm not a um, a gamer, yeah. and I never I ne was never into Sonic or any of that stuff. Yeah, I know there's a big controversy about the look of him and all that kind of stuff, but yeah, that's I that's know. what the whole deal's about. And um, nerds, nerds. <laughs> yeah, I I was very worried from that trailer, and. Very worried. What, very are you, what are you worried about? It's a movie. Don't you, you, you get worry about world hunger? You don't worry about a movie. Wow, you make me sound like a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, it's interesting the fact that uh, they're re they're, they're basically remodeling the character now after the whole after all the memes popped up and everything. So yeah, we'll see we'll see how things go from there. But well, Nick went to school with the director. Oh really? Yeah, Nick knows him. Yeah. Do that. Well, you do now. So you can see I'm slowly working in the, the pattern of um, the shadow, the lighting, the shadows, and I'll just slowly refine it. Just slowly refine it. Like I said, I'm going to keep it loose anyway. I'm not going to get really tight with it. I'm, that's not my style anymore. I used to get really rendery with my work, but I like a, a painterly style now. Um, it's my more preferred way of painting. And uh, so, yeah, there you go. Do you have an art book? And if not, do you ever have you ever thought of making one? Funny you say that. One of Dustin's jobs over the next few weeks is going to be scanning all of my sketchbooks <laughs> yeah. Dustin gets to scan 
all, let me repeat, all of my sketchbooks. And how many do you have? All of them. <laughs> That's not really a number, is it? <laughs> I've got a lot. Uh, yeah, because we we are um, we are going to put out a um, a book on my sketchbooks. Uh, we're going to do that's pr pretty simple, and uh, we're going to do that pretty quickly. We're going to do a, a more uh, more proper art of book uh, in the future, but uh, in the in the coming months, hope, hopefully, we'll be putting out a print on demand uh, sketchbook book. Sketchbook book. Yeah, basically, for lack of a better title, it's Aaron Blaze Sketchbooks, Volume One. So I'm going to take that. I'm going to make it a little image adjustments. I really love your watercolor course. Will you do a gouache course? A little darker. There we go. Uh, yeah, I will be doing a gouache course actually. There, I want to just go a little darker on that local color. So that feels a very, very much better. Very, very much better. Now I'm going to put another layer on top and I'm going to set it to overlay. And now I'm going to paint in the light areas. So yes, um, we are going to do a gouache course. I'm just not sure when yet. He made this drawing only with Photoshop or with something else? I'm talking about the uh, painting, I think. Uh, this is just Photoshop. Just Photoshop. Yeah. No. Just painting along. Painting along, singing a song. <laughs> <laughs> Staying alive. Dustin's getting all of Aaron's sketchbooks. Why did I not put my shopping cart away? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dustin, it's a lot of sketchbooks. Yeah. It's in <laughs> Somebody uh, uh, re reenacted some of the words of, how many do you have? Yes. <laughs> Definitely going to have to keep my eyes open for the book. Yeah. And you'll oh. understand how many of these things I have to scan. <laughs> I think you I think well, have piles of like at least five per pile. And you have like... I've got a lot. I would say like what? 20 sketchbooks? 30? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and some of them were thrown out, remember? Oh, uh, yeah. So, um, but I'm gonna, we're going to go off of the sketchbooks we've got. Uh, do you go to conventions or public events, and how can we meet you? Yes, I do, and... Um, we are going to do something local here in Orlando, maybe in August, um, where I'm going to do a master class. And so if this is something you guys are interested in, please let us know, because we're really just going off of, you know, gauging, we're trying to gauge the interest off, off of, well, trying to gauge it off of your interest. So if you're interested in something like that, then please let us know, because I'm going to be talking about animal drawing. I'm going to be talking about animation. I'm going to be talking about character design. Um, these are all subjects that I'll be teaching in my master class um, if this is something you're interested in in Orlando. Um, any tips on finding uh, great online print shops to sell one's prints? Uh, we use Printful. Printful? Yeah, it's called Printful, and I like them. I also use Pixel.com. Pixel.com. And they've been good as well. Really good, actually. So Pixel.com or Printful, I recommend. Man, it is hot in here. You got the fan going. Yeah. I think it's because that is... Oh, crazy. yeah, we're not getting the cool air. Yeah, we're not getting a cool flow. Man, it's hot in here. 
Man, it was hot in there. <laughs> Whoops. I got a twitch in my arm. You're a good son, Dustin, although you might get repetitive strain injury after scanning that lock. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try my best. You want to get paid, boy? I think a lot of people are, are very, very interested in the, uh, um, uh, the class. In the class yeah. Oh, yeah? Or, you come to um, Orlando? Because we do it in Orlando. And, uh, I think we'd have a lot of fun. Do you have any other plans whilst you whilst you're back in England? Yeah, we're going to be back in England in July, uh, teaching at Peckforton Castle. That class is already full, um, but we're going to be teaching. We're doing a four-day uh, workshop on watercolor painting or paint uh, painting. Uh, outdoors and uh, everyone's gonna be staying at Peckforton Castle and uh, it's gonna be awesome uh, do I do art um, I do photography now Dustin is a great photographer Thank that's you. why uh, that's why he's going with me to Yellowstone National Park. Yeah. Yeah, I, I caught up on uh, uh, on photography while Dad was doing uh, his uh, Europe, Europe tour. Yeah, but you've done, I mean, you've done, you've done similar stuff in the past, too. Yeah, but... You're a good photographer. You're a really good photographer. Thank you. I, I think it's... you got a good now eye. Now that I got my own, like, real camera, now I kind of... Now like I've been getting more into that sort of stuff. So. Yeah, yeah. You've got you know you've got a good eye and I think you'll do good. So what I'm doing here is I'm adding some light and shadow in the snow as well, very loosely. And I wanted to tell just a little bit of a story. So um, here you can see the tracks. This puma or cougar is running after something, and you can see the tracks in the snow. So he's in pursuit. Um, I'm always trying to tell some kind of little story um, with the work and even if it's something as simple as this it helps it helps with you know adding some kind of story to the picture and it adds interest when there's a story it, 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 the viewer gets pulled in I think a little more there we go uh, Dustin, when Aaron has presentations, uh, do you go as well? Uh, I think that depends if I if I can go, and also if it's more local, like in um, um, Sarasota or like Ringling, things like that. Yeah, he doesn't always go, but um, hold on, Cougar. Cougar. Pursuit. Uh, let's save that in my. I'll just save it on desktop for now. There we go. So now uh, we've got, the, you know, basically it's roughed in. And, um, and now it's all about refining. Refining, refining, refining. Refining. Yeah. So I want to get in here because you can see how loose I've gone. I've gone very loose with it. Now I want to go in and tighten it up. In a few areas. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create another layer on top. This is going to be just a straight paint layer. Is it quiet over there? Uh, I thought you were going to keep, oh. keep talking. Because you know how you like tend to pause, <laughs> and then talk more, and then pause, talk a little more, and then pause. <laughs> Dustin, why why don't we have any questions? Because <laughs> you keep talking, then pausing. <laughs> uh, but um, were you going to say anything about uh, 
uh, were you going to add anything about the uh, presentation thing? Because I explained that part of how I'm more local. I do things more local, depending on if I can make the presentations. Oh yeah. So yeah, like you know, we'll take you to like CTN and things like that, but. Um, The um, it just depends on need, really. We can't. I'd love to be able to take all of our employees everywhere all the time, but we just can't can't do it. I'm more needed here, in my office. In my office. But um, if we do Japan, you're gonna be you'll be going to Japan with us. Which I'm so excited for. Yeah. <laughs> what and where can we sign up for the Orlando class? Because I am so interested. That was all in all caps. Oh, good. Well, um, it's just it's just the beginning of the idea right now. So, uh, stay tuned, and we will we will uh, we will be doing it. That makes me happy because uh, if you guys are interested, then we're definitely on it. Uh, do you still do photography with your drone? I barely even touched my drone in months. Yeah, but we got to get you on that because you're you're good with that too. Yeah. I feel more comfortable now with with my uh, with my camera now more than more than my drone. Oh yeah. So I think I just get paranoid with all the uh, like fly zones and everything. Yeah, you don't have to. You get so overly paranoid about that crap. You don't have it's to worry. How about I, am. It. I know. You just don't worry about it. It's not. It's not a big deal. Uh, can you show us some sketches from your trip to Europe? No. Okay. <laughs> I don't have them. I don't have them available right now. Uh, I will next time. How's that? Okay. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Eh? Okay. <laughs> Think you'll have a workshop in uh, NYC? Um, maybe. Yeah, we definitely will do one in New York. We'll do one in LA. We'll hit the ma major cities and in the US right now we're just we're booked on a lot of things and I, like I said I need to get um, I gotta get snow bear done man you gotta get it done man how much does it cost to participate if you come to Japan I don't know um, that's gonna be through uh, 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 drawing ah I can't ah. remember uh, <laughs> We're, we're both key, having... key in us, yeah. <laughs> um, shoot. I, I'm, I don't know. I think we got a mind, mind clog. Have you traveled to Idaho? Northern Idaho is really pretty, and we have a lot of beautiful wildlife. Yes, I have been to Idaho, and I've been to Northern Idaho, and you're right, it is beautiful. Idaho? <laughs> no. <laughs> I see you'll be attending the Lightbox Expo. What can we expect to see? I really want to buy a ticket, but info is kind of vague. Um, I'm going to be talking about quite a bit, um, probably character design, animal drawing for sure. Matter of fact, while we're there, I'm going to be doing a meetup at the LA Zoo so we can get together and I'll draw uh, as a group. We just did that in um, at the Chester Zoo in England and uh, we had a really good turnout and it was a lot of fun. Uh, when is Lightbox Expo? September. You know exact day? I don't. Not off the top of my head. Not right now. Don't do that to me. Don't 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 do that. 
Don't do that. <laughs> I swear to God, if it's the 16th again. <laughs> oh, you know what? I don't know. <laughs> oh, you know what? Speaking of which, I don't know. <laughs> it might be. The 16th is Dustin's birthday, and I always miss it because of some kind of... Because you're always out of town. Business event, always... yeah. Cats in the cradle in the silver spoon. Little boy blue and the man on the moon. So the, um, when you're coming home, Dad, I don't know when. Somebody we'll says, get together uh, then. That the uh, expo will be uh, the 6th to the 8th. Got the it. First weekend. So there you go. We don't have to have a cats in the cradle moment. Thank you. <laughs> it's like, oh, sorry, we have, we have a slight delay on the expo. We're going to move it to the 16th. <laughs> no! <laughs> So I like to flip, flop the uh, the image every once in a while just to see how it's coming. I see it in a new light. That's all right. Okay. Huh? I'm just talking to myself. Oh. I want to start getting some of this fur texture in here. I bought your anatomy course a while ago. How should I practice after every video in your opinion? And for how much time? Thanks for the great content, by the way. It's long, how much time is, it's all up to you. It's however long it's, you need it. You know, it's uh, that kind of, that's a, you know, it, it's, there is no set amount of time. It's just whatever you feel you need. And, um, you know, for me, I, 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 don't, I never sit down with a set amount of time saying, okay, this is how long I'm going to do this. I do, I draw because I love it. And I can't not draw. And so that's kind of what it should be for you. Just sit down and do it because you, you want to do it, not because it's an exercise. And as you're, as you're doing your exercises, then, you know, you'll, you'll get better. But it's, you know, I don't know what to tell you as far as, you know, how long you should do it. It's just whatever is needed, really. Where is the most beautiful spot in the States for a wilderness drawing? Oh my gosh, there's, there's a lot. I mean, there's, it depends on what you're looking for. Obviously, Yellowstone is beautiful. Uh, you know, the sequoias, um, uh, yeah, the sequoias are beautiful. Um, uh, Yosemite is incredibly beautiful. Uh, you can go to, you know, Denali, Alaska is insanely beautiful. Um, it just it depends on what you're looking for. Uh, do you know if the meetup at the zoo will be during the week after the expo or during one of the days of the convention? Um, I'm not sure yet. Um, I obviously don't want to pull people away from lectures and that sort of thing, so I'll be courteous there. Um, but uh, we'll just we'll play it by ear. Dustin sitting at home alone because Aaron is out of town. Hello, <laughs> darkness, my old friend. friend. <laughs> <laughs> Thank uh, you, Martin <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Take some pictures of, of your doing your That's awesome. Pictures. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think that would actually, I, I like that idea too. <laughs> uh, how was your Cintiq 16? It's awesome. I used it all over Europe and uh, it worked great. And uh, yeah, it was, it was, uh, it was really uh, uh, a godsend because uh, we needed it and it worked it just worked out perfectly, and the size was just right. Uh, did you ever draw in the wilds of India? No, I've never. Well, as, as close as I've come to the wilds of India um, is probably 
Chitwan National Park, which is in Nepal, northern India, right on the border of northern India. And um, that's coming along pretty good. I'm happy with that. Um, but no, I haven't been able to do that. And I, I think it would be awesome. Uh, Ethan Darling writes, uh, went to your character design class in Dublin. It was awesome. Thank you. Oh, good. I'm glad you liked it. Uh, that makes me happy, actually. Yeah, that, I, I really had a great time with you guys. Are you currently using reference? Uh, if yes, how many references... Reference images, are you using... Um, for this one, I'm, I am using reference, and for this one, I'm just using one. One image? Yeah, just one image. I'm keeping it simple today. What pulls you to art? What pulls me to art? I can't not do it. I don't know how... That's like explaining what makes you breathe. I don't know. I don't know how to answer that. It's just something that's always been a part of me. And I think... You know, the idea of being able to create familiarity, to create life, to create something that's familiar um, out of your hands, uh, I think it's magical. And having the, uh, the ability to do that, which isn't always natural, it's just, it's a, it's a learned exercise I might want to, I want to point out and add because so many people come up and say oh my gosh you're so lucky I wish I could do that well you don't wish you could do that because if you did you'd be trying to do it and it, because drawing and painting it takes it takes work and so um, uh, so I've always done it because it's I can't not do it I just I've always been drawn to no pun intended I've always been drawn to um, art because of some kind of unexplainable force in my soul your soul my soul my ever-loving soul soul what do you think of the animals at nightmare island from tim burton's dumbo nightmare island i have i've never watched the movie so i have no idea what he's talking about i don't remember the animals at nightmare island i'm not sure Animals at Nightmare Island. Why am I drawing a blank on that? It's weird. Probably haven't seen it in a while. Just gonna push that back a little bit there. I find drawing slash painting relaxing and fun. Yeah. Hey, Erica. Hope you're doing well. And thank you for everything. All your support and kind words and everything you do. <laughs> Manny, I love when you draw a blank. <laughs> As he wrote. <laughs> Trying to get the texture of this fur the way it grows in kind of rows and tufts. And I'm trying to make it, I'm trying to be spontaneous with it and I'm struggling a little bit. It's just looking like a pattern. But I gotta, I've got some other things i got to put in here that'll help. So I'm going to highlight some of the fur a little bit more. When do you expect to go to the zoo in California? I might have to extend my flight around the expo. And I think it wasn't here when you answered that before. Yeah, it's going to be somewhere. Well, it's it's going to be during the expo. I'm just not sure when. Uh, I'm not sure when. Probably set up like maybe right, like maybe the day before or the day after the expo. Yeah, I mean it's it, we're still a long ways out. I, I don't I don't think that far ahead. Me either. Do 
you think the new Lion King will portray Nala as good as you did in the original? Uh, how do you feel about it? I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, of course, I think she'll be, she'll be great. Um, and uh, I have all the faith in John Favreau. Big, big John Favreau fan. So I think he's going to be awesome. Daily Clark writes, really happy seeing another stream from you again. Good night from Australia and bye, Dustin. Good night. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. As my mother used to say. Hey, Dustin, I've, I've just thought of the perfect Godzilla bad guy. A giant anchovy for your dad to draw. <laughs> I just realized, I, you know what I can do? I'm going to get rid of all of this. Start over. What? Yeah. Um, well, actually, you know what? No, wait, let me do this. I'll keep some of that, but I'm going to switch brushes. And I'm going to my dry brush. Yes, that's what I should have been using the what whole time. Do? This great dry brush. I've got a great dry brush that's got some awesome texture to it. Because I want to keep this loose. And, uh, so I'm just trying to, to get some, uh, texture in here without getting really rendery with it. Loosey goosey, baby. Loosey goosey. Sounds like a Matthew McConaughey. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta keep the loosey goosey, baby. <laughs> <laughs> gotta keep the loosey goosey. <laughs> That's good. That's a good Matthew McConaughey, baby. I got the Lucy Goosey from uh, um, Jack Black's uh, School of Rock. <laughs> oh, yeah? But, yeah, Matthew, I think Matthew would say would say that line a lot better. He's got to keep it Lucy Goosey, baby. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> I love it. Uh, what's the next time you're going on the road? Uh, well, see, it's like this. She's like this. Uh, we're going to hit the road. We're going to Montana next week. And then, uh, then I got to go to Moscow um, after that. Then possibly Japan. There we go. Now I'm, now I'm getting something I like. I like this. this whoops. I don't like that. I like this looseness in here. Uh, why did you choose a cougar to draw today? Uh, because I I don't know. I just felt like drawing a cougar. It just hit me. Hit me. I was asking myself, why am I running towards this wall? <laughs> then it hit me. <laughs> what do you think of uh, Scar's new look uh, for the new Lion King? I like it. It makes it to me. It makes more sense. That's all yeah, because. Cheaper. While the anime Lion King made him darker in this one, they made him actually lighter for. Yeah, because it's less dominant. Yeah. Uh, do you also do colored pencils? I used to do only colored pencil when I was younger, all Prismacolor, until I. Um, uh, started branching out and doing more acrylic and oil. 
There's a should say my my kind of hate character from now on, but <laughs> <laughs> what's that? So I basically say I should do my McConaughey my kind of hate character. <laughs> oh, all right. From now on. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, have you drawn any manatee? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, I love it. I don't even think anyone could hear <laughs> But someone actually asked, have you drawn manatees? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I've drawn manatees. <laughs> have you drawn manatees? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I love those little man <laughs> Those little sea cows. <laughs> I get older, but they say the same age. <laughs> That's what I like about these man man. I get older, they flow the same way. It's <laughs> <laughs> kind of funny, man. I do apologize ahead of time if I do ruin your drawing. <laughs> awesome. I'm just trying to make you lose your focus. You need to focus right now. <laughs> I notice you draw a lot of mammals. Why is that? Uh, why not more birds or reptiles? Very curious. I prefer drawing mammals too. Um, I just, I, I don't know. I, it's funny. When I was younger, all I drew were birds. I was very much into birds. And I still love birds, um, love birds, uh, but um, I'm just, uh, I don't know, I, I just, there's something about mammals that I am drawn to, and uh, no pun intended, but um, I just, I, uh, there's something about the drama, I think it's the drama that attracts me. Are you still learning new things about art? Are there new things that you want to learn in drawing, like robots or spaceships, airplanes, for example? There's always something new to learn, always. And uh, and yes, I'm learning a lot constantly. Um, especially nowadays, I look at other people's art and, um, and I'm constantly being inspired. Uh, through Instagram, you know, a lot of social media. Um, just seeing the stuff that's out there is really inspiring to me. That sounds very inspiring right there. <laughs> yes. All right. All right, so I'm going to start working this background a little bit more, too. Do you also do um, uh, thumbnails and sketches? I do. I do. You do? I do. You do? And yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Right now, I want to create Cancel. I want to do this. It's got to be behind it, doesn't it? Shoot. Okay, let me do this. Put this back here. There we go. I'm going to put a layer on top. All right, all right. Now I'm going to go pretty. I'll just do this. Go dark. I'm going to go dark. Are there any... Um, They're so dark. So dark. Oh my god. Um, are there any chances of you one day going to uh, France or Berlin or uh, any, of those, any of those areas in Europe in the future? Yes. There's a big chance of that. Of that. If you know um, any uh, good animation schools in those areas. Well, Goblin, I think, is one of the best animation schools in the world. Which place? Goblin. 
Goblin. Goblin. Goblin. Goblin. Goblin. Goblin. Goblin. Goblin. Goblin. Goblin. Goblin. It's uh, in Paris. Or it's in France. Not gotcha. Paris. You have a course on landscapes and backgrounds. I do not. But we will. We'll put that on the list. Put it on the list, baby. Not put on the list right there. Yeah. <laughs> Just going to put it right on that list right there and make it rock and roll. <laughs> uh, what do you do with outdated drawing equipment after using it? Do you sell it or just throw it out? Uh, I haven't gotten to that point yet. There's nothing I have is outdated. I always, I always find, I find, find a use for all of it. If you don't find use for it, you just hand it down to all your other employees. Like, hey, here, here's something for you to use. Yeah, I do. <laughs> we, uh, our other employees get it, or Dustin gets it. <laughs> Yay! No, it really, it actually does help. Help me out a lot. <laughs> Uh, how many how many pumas have you drawn? All of them. All of them. <laughs> seven. <laughs> I've drawn seven pumas right there. <laughs> I don't know how many pumas I've drawn. You've drawn a lot of pumas. I've drawn a lot of pumas. Yes, but what about cougars? <laughs> cougars. Dustin, what's the difference between a puma and a cougar? Uh, what? Nothing. Huh. They're all the same. They're all the same, man. Speaking of landscapes and backgrounds, have you ever been to Cliffs of Mother Island? No. What is that? That sounds interesting. I, I don't know. Sounds cool, though. So I just said... Saying it right back to you. <laughs> there we go. Getting some, getting some tree tree patterns in here. Tree patterns. starting to get some kind of fun. fun I'm digging it can you dig it <laughs> how many pumas has there Aaron John 11 11 in a, in a left <laughs> in Scotland <laughs> 11 oh god I love that skit I watched that get at least 11 times 11 <laughs> there we go yes 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 have you tried voice recognition technology they don't do Scottish accents. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, no new questions at the moment. I need questions. Feed me. There we go. Okay, so now I'm going to put a layer on top of that. And it's just going to start pulling out a little bit of warmth. Hey, Aaron, are traditional animation desks as expensive, and do they improve you as a 2D animator? Well, I'm. it depends on the desk. I mean, the desk I have is one of the original old Disney desks, and so, yeah, they are expensive mainly because of their history, but they're also very, very well made. And I do think they improve... They improve uh, the process of making the animation, the experience. And so I think in that regard, 
Sure. Um, but I know plenty of people that just have a regular old, you know, light box and a disc, and they're fine. Uh, Tim Hunt says, looking forward to seeing you in Moscow. Oh, that's right. Tim's going. Yay! Hi, Tim. Tim, we'll have some we'll have some vodka, vodka to that together. Uh, Jilu Jilu uh, Rabbi says I sent you a, re a request on the website to set up a meeting between you and my daughter here in Florida. Did you get that? I did not. Uh, we don't normally do that, uh, but I'm not sure. Send send it through again. Is mainly because we're traveling a lot, and uh, and we get a lot of requests to meet, and I just don't have the ability to meet everybody, and so we kind of just don't, we don't at the at, at the moment just because of that. Here, so here I'm just, you can see how loose you can be, and it can still be very effective in the background. Simple yet effective. Simple yet satisfying. <laughs> Slimy yet satisfying. In Italy, the Marsican bear is going extinct. 50 animals left. What would you do or suggest, uh, even just artistically, to help this cause? By the way, you are amazing, and I'm learning a lot from your courses. Well, there's a lot of animals going extinct. I mean, it's it's. I don't. I'm not sure what. What the question is, I'm not. I don't know. I mean, it, it, we can, we can all do something. To. Whether it's donating or donating art or whatever it is, donating money. Uh, but I'm I'm not quite understanding the question as far as what. I don't know. Well, just that like. That's like, how can you artistically help with the cause? Well, if it's like making banners of... Well, um, that's what I mean. There's any number of things you can do. So it's it's really... About what you can do. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff we're involved with already. We're, we're very deeply involved with saving big cats uh, through National Geographic. We've done a lot of work through there. Um... um and through the uh, wildlife, uh, um, um, wild C R U, the people that were studying Cecil the lion, we work with them as well. Are you ever going to stream uh, working on snow bear again? Yes. Sweet. When I get back to it, I'm going to be streaming that quite a bit. So now I'm just putting in some negative space. Uh, just adding little bits of negative space like you're looking through the trees. What do you think is good business advice for artists? Um, learn it. <laughs> learn business. One of the best things you can do is, you know, understand business. Always have a contract. Never do a job for free. You know? There's Just like the Joker says in Dark Knight, if you're good at something, never do it for free. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, short of being a jerk about it, I mean, there's, there's charitable things that you can do, which I'm, you know, I do a lot of. And so that's like making drawings that you can send they can send to them to auction off to go to that charity or something like yeah that. we do stuff like that all the time but you know but when it comes to work you know you're always going to be told that you're too expensive don't listen to that do you ever think that you have too much on your plate that you uh, they have too much going on at one time have you ever thought of just slowing down? No. No? Mm -mm. Not once? Nope. 
No, I love what I do. Not once. I'm happy with this. This is coming along. See how loose you can get and, and still have something that feels good. That right there is very loosey-goosey, baby. <laughs> it is loosey-goosey. I also recommend a local group for Middle, Middle Eastern Waterboard on the East Coast. Yeah, right there. There's a Chesapeake Bay Foundation. They do a lot and also have volunteer activities. Oh, yeah. Good. So here, I'm just going through and cleaning up some of these edges on this guy. This guy. This guy right here. Just cleaning them up a bit. Oh, we've been out at an hour and a half. Yeah, Dad, we've been out an hour and a half. Oh, okay, cool. Dad, yeah, we, we have. It's 2.32 right now. <laughs> so I was trying to find, trying to find an old question because we don't have any more questions. Oh, did we lose viewers? No. Not to you. We're okay. We're good. Peter. Hey, Peter. Uh, can you show your reference again? Yes. Hey, Peter, you gotta show your reference. Hold on one second. You gotta do it if you want to meet her. <laughs> Just a minute, almost there. Uh, will you draw recently extinct animals like dodo birds or Tasmanian tigers in the near future? Uh, sure, I could do that. I personally don't think Tasmanian tigers are extinct. I think they're still there. There's been a lot of sightings of them. What is your favorite color? Teal green. Teal green. Crazy, huh? Very crazy. Is Dustin and Nick going to be at Lightbox? Uh, probably. Not sure yet. Still up in the air? Still up in the air. What is the next dream going to be? How, how many weeks from now? The next dream? We'll probably we'll probably do one on Tuesday. 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 Eh? Tuesday. And then Gosh, um, darn it. Thursday we're flying. Where is it? Thir next Thursday we're flying. Yeah. Yeah, Thursday. So. So, so it would be Tuesday. Next week we'll stream, and then the week after, I think we'll go back to the normal streaming schedule. Yep. Because we fly back on Sunday. Yeah. That's where we will stream the rest of the nation there. Yeah, I'm doing an interview. They're doing a documentary on hand-drawn animation. And uh, the filmmakers are coming to the house here to interview for the film. I'm very excited about it. I'm going to have some uh, reorganizing to do. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. 
a little bit. Just a teeny tiny little bit. Uh, should we plan a painting using the usual composition rules, like the rule of thirds, or do we just whip it and see how it turns out? I, I, I at least try to compose uh, ahead of time, and, I, and the rule of thirds is usually my, my, my favorite. But at the end of the day, if it looks good, remember, it is good. That's, that's the biggest thing I try to remember, I try to think about. If it, is, if it looks good, it is good. Will you be at any conferences uh, teaching this year, like Adobe Max or Photoshop World? I'm not going to be at Adobe Max. I don't do uh, Adobe Max anymore or Photoshop World. But I will be at uh, more um, the animation uh, geared conventions, such as Lightbox and CTN. Uh, question. Was your Facebook account hacked a few days ago, or were those pencil bag thingies shared by you? They were shared by me. I'm a huge fan of the Arties. I was not hacked. Those were shared by me, and uh, I very, very, very much recommend them. If you do not have one, um, I recommend them. They're called Arties. They're not pencil bag thingies. <laughs> They're an amazing uh, uh, couple that m runs the company, and um, they're fantastic. Handmade. They're all handmade in India. I've got, th I've got four, four of them, I think now. Is that right, Dustin? Say again. I've got four of them, I think. Four the, of what? The Arties. Man, are you really that tuned out? Well, yeah, because I'm focusing on the on the reading. Oh, gotcha. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Obviously. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm trying to focus on this here. <laughs> but um, you mentioned that your brother was colorblind. How does he choose his colors and deal with color theory? Uh, he doesn't. A lot of his stuff is black and white. He does some color. He just, uh, you can read the color. Um, he doesn't do a ton of color that I know of. I could be wrong. But he, he actually, I mean, he handles it really well. Uh, he only can't see two two specific colors, right? Red and green. Red and green. There. Yeah, he's red and green colorblind. Interesting. It's funny, red, red and green, which happens to be two of the most important parts of the stoplight. <laughs> Well, pure color he can see. Pure red and pure green he can see. It's when you start getting into the, the browns and that sort of thing that it gets difficult for him. Really? So like the more precise green, like the lighter or darker? Yeah, he can, he, can see, uh, he can see it fairly well. I saw the old memory you shared when you did the behind the scenes for the Lion King. Is this me or did you look like you really did want to be there? I was really nervous. <laughs> it's the first time I'd ever been on television. I was just a dumb kid from the swamps of South Florida. <laughs> oh, it's really a, you, you should be okay. They only go for guys that that are wearing dark dark pink shirts. <laughs> That was, they told me that, to say that line. It was all scripted. <laughs> so cheesy. I know, right? It doesn't, are you excited for Galaxy's Edge? Are you taking a head for an ice cream at grand opening? It looks out of this world. I am super excited for it. 
Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be there on day one, but I do plan on eventually going there. What is it? Uh, the Star Wars Park at, at oh. Disney. It's called, they're calling it Galaxy's Edge. But, gotcha. Uh, yeah, I cannot wait for that. It's going to be fun. Uh, have we both watched Endgame? Yes. I yeah I saw it here. Dad. dad I saw it. In, I saw it in Ireland. Yeah. In Ireland, yeah. So, so yes, we have seen it. No spoilers. And no spoilers, but it's great. I was trying to find the right words without ruining anything. It's great. It's great. That movie is great. Aunt Wendy just joined the stream. Really? Hi, Aunt Wendy. Sister. My sister. Your sister. My sister. Your sister. Your sister. We got snow flying up in the air. Hello, Wendy Austin. Can you hear me? Sister, can you hear me? Is it just me or does Father Can You Hear Me sound suspiciously like, can we build a snowman? Can we build a snowman? <laughs> Is anyone else hearing this? <laughs> What the the tapping of the? No, that was that was a line from Deadpool. Oh. <laughs> well, I know that, but I thought that last bit. Of, uh, can anybody hear this? I thought you were. No, he says that in the movie. I forgot about that part. I love Deadpool. It's so hard to believe that. The two rednecks are sitting in the back of the uh, the truck. That that's Alan Tudyk and Matt Damon, like he in heavy makeup. Is it really? Yeah, it is. Like they don't they don't get uh, like they specifically did not want to have their names in the in the credits. They wanted to have uh, alias names, and so so when you first see them, they like it's hard to notice but it's them like there's been a whole oh, that's cool. scene thing on them but when I Where's when I found going? that out I went back and watched it again I'm like oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> it's one of those where like you don't notice it until you're told like like with Tom Cruise with being the being the jerk boss in uh uh Tropic Thunder. Tropic Thunder, yeah. The whole time I did not know it was him until Oh really? It, until it said uh until it showed it was him, it was Tom Cruise. I'm like, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty and then awesome. I watched it again like, oh yeah. <laughs> How did I miss that? Can you do Rocket Raccoon impersonation? Mm. Uh well, that's a tough I one. never tried. Yeah, that's I I I'd hold off on that one. Yeah, and, and he does a lot of screaming too, a lot of a lot of high pitched yelling. <laughs> Are you excited for Guy Ritchie's live action Aladdin? Um, I didn't know that was Guy Ritchie. I didn't know either. Really? I didn't know. I had no idea that that was Guy Ritchie. Anyway. Uh yes, I'm uh, I'm excited about it. I am. I honestly am. Honestly. Honestly. Hey, Vader, I'm honestly excited about that. So I'm pretty much finishing up here. I want to hit some of the snow. Actually, I'm going to hit this a little better. 
Tim Hodgeborough, speaking of the uh, Lion King from earlier, um, I just read that Jim Fowler uh, passed away today. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm sure you remember and when he uh, lectured at the studio back in 93. Trey Finney and I had breakfast with him. Oh, really? Yep. For those of you that don't, I don't, oh, man, I didn't know that. For those of you that don't know Jim Fowler, he was Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom. He was always the guy that was jumping in the, jumping in the water to get the crocodiles. He walked with a limp because he got bit by a crocodile. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, he was a pretty amazing fellow. And he was uh, very gracious. He was a falconer, too. And, uh, um, and uh, had a really extensive knowledge of, on falconry. And um, we all, when he came in for, he came in during Mulan and demonstrated the falcons. I think it was during Mulan, or was it Lion King? No, it was during Mulan because he brought the falcons in. He demonstrated some falconry then. And Trey and I had, had breakfast with him. Do you think it is possible... Trey Finney. Hmm? Trey Finney. Trey Finney. Do you think it is possible to learn anim uh, animating on your own or with courses? Yours, for example. I barely have experience animating. You know, it, I really recommend getting a course just to understand the fundamentals. You know, I... I, um... I mean, it's there are fundamentals that you need to understand and I think it's it's much better to hear it taught by somebody than to try to figure it out on your own and um, and it, you know it doesn't have to be my course and I'm not trying to push my